Hello YouTube. This is Mark Woods with another video. Yeah, I mean we're gonna be in we're gonna be in different cars, uh, you know, through the video. So this time y'all just get to see two cars, cause now you know I'm driving, you know, driving both of them right now, you know, pretty much. I might drive the Jeep like three to four days and drive the Malibu about three to four days in a week, you know. But other than that, man, like it's it's a blessing to have two cars, though. You know it is you know i didn't think i was gonna have at one point in time i didn't think i was gonna have the jeep anymore so a lot of plans have has changed but we're here to talk about history man history and the making you know uh rockford false gate versus kicker you know let's start off let's start off with products products we're gonna have a different category in this one because these companies been out so long for products i mean it's, it's got to be even man it's got to be even you know they they both have the same amount of products you know now now far as like you know quality and you know performance of stereo systems and on the sound quality side, you might want to give it to uh, Rockford Fosgate. But the kicker, kicker, you know, they have just as much as products, just as many subwoofers. You know, uh, Rockford Fosgate, you know, only thing they're missing is those L7s, which I still like to see, you know, at the time of this video. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, man, like products, we're going to have to give it to, uh, give it to both of them. It's a tie, man. You know, like they've been around for a long time. People trust and believe in Kicker and Fosgate. You know, to some people, you can't say nothing about nothing bad about either one of them. Now, it was a particular time, and you know, a particular time that Kicker just straight holding it down until this basically recently. You know, so products we gonna give them a tie. You know, so what else? What else? Okay, we're gonna go with popular. That's tough. But I would edge it out to kicker. You know, I would edge it out to kicker. Because, you know, kicker, you know, is mostly known by everybody, man. It's it's not too many people you can ask out here on this earth that don't know what kicker is. You know, right for Fallsgate is almost the same exact way. But you can find people who don't know nothing about Rafa Fosky. But if you say kicker, oh, I got two kickers in the car. Everybody know what those is. You know, everybody, you know, kickers are famous for, you know, beating up rides, bumping real hard, getting high XPL. You know, Fosky is more known for, like, you know, sound quality. But popularity is going to have to go to kicker, man. Like, I see kicker and way more cars than I see right for false gate. And that's that's on the real man. Like I mean just going back back to you know back to the history of it, you know. So we're gonna come up with our little next subject, you know, our next subject and and you know popularity you can go pretty much any way. You know like I, I had to give it I had to get an edge kicker you know on that one. This it's the edge kicker. But let's go, let's go to reliability. Reliability is, is, is still a tie, man. You, you gotta go both ways, you know. I, I can't never call it with these reliability. Like, now if you was putting Rockford Fosgate against Rockville, then it'd be a different story. But Rockford Fosgate against Kicker with reliability, you know, I can't call it either way. Cause I don't really hear uh, too many people saying, "Oh, I didn't bust my kicker," "Oh, I didn't bust my rock for Fallscape." Now the materials on them are, you know, are very a little bit on the cheap side. Like you know, you can probably barely touch any one of the speakers, and they can just kind of like, you know, get a little hole up in them. You got to be careful when you're drilling in. Take a good lesson off me. We don't want to. We don't want to drill holes in our subwoofer anymore. So yeah, reliability, I'm giving it to both of them. Now, customer preference. 
you know, consumer, you know, we can say consumer preference or what's your preference? Uh, what do people rather, or what do people prefer? You know, I'm going to have to give it to Kicker on that one, man. I mean, Kicker is the first thing that comes to a base head mind. Like, if you don't know nothing about these new subwoofers like Sundown, you know, and, you know, Scar and American Base DS18, if you don't know nothing about them new speakers, you want to know something about Kicker. Like, Kicker is like one of the top notch, you know, you know, preference for a whole bunch of consumers. You know, and this the prices are a little bit cheaper on Kicker too. Now it is. I don't know about back then. I think even back then it was too. But I never really had two. One time I had Rockford False Gates in my car, and that's when I had my brand new Kia. Uh, it was a 2015 or 16, and I had the entry level uh, Rockford False Gates. And it was okay. It was okay. I did bust them though. Cause I wanted too much bass, you know. So that was that was the reason for them. But other than that, man, what customers what, what customers prefer, you know, I had to give it to Kicker, man. Now let's let's talk about history, man. History. Both of these companies were founded in 1973. You know, both of them. Ralph Falsgate itself was founded by a guy. His last name is Falsgate. So I don't know, was his name Tim Falsgate? Somebody can, I would have it up right here on the screen, you know, but his last name was uh, Falsgate. So it was one person that founded Falsgate. You know, this is my studies, man. And Kicker was found by two people, two people, you know, uh, in 1973. Like I said, they, they both been out for a good, good while. They both, you know, they they both have outstanding history. They are both two trusted brands. You know, now now it's a little bit different because now we in the power area. Now we're in a, you know, I, how much power could I have? How much could I, you know, make this go up and down? How much could I shake the car? You know, how much could I flex? We're in that era now. You know, we're in an era where people is grabbing a lot more power, saving up for lithium, getting lithium. I mean, we're all about that, man. We're in that era right now. And it's not, you know, this is this is the new era of sound systems. Now, as far as what's important in sound systems, we're gonna say power. You know, power is what everybody wants right now. Everybody wants more power, you know, more electrical. You know, which is okay. You know, so the history man goes a long way, man. I don't know who had them back then. You know, my first time getting a kicker, getting a kicker product was probably in 2005, something like that, maybe 2003. That was my first time actually. Well, let's go back even more. Yeah, 2002. It was the first time that I had got kicker. I had three 12 kickers. And then up in the navigator, I had two 12 kickers. You know, kickers, like I told you back then, for a long, long time, kickers actually holding it down, man. They holding it down real good. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you do, smash that like button. If you're new and you love car audio and wants to learn car audio, please consider subscribing. This is Mark Woods. I'm out.